This is Matt, and better late than never, these are the metal vinyl releases for February 2023. Starting with February 3rd, expect the fifth studio album from British metal band Memoriam. This is Rise to Power, to be released by Reaper Entertainment. Vinyl variants include Purple and Black Marble at 1,000 copies, Clear Smoke at 400 copies, and Purple Vinyl in an unspecified number of copies. There will also be box set bundles available for this title, which will include the album on vinyl, the CD and cassette version, plus a graphic novel, a poster, a t-shirt, and a bonus 7-inch EP. Music video for the track All Is Lost is a solidly driving and somewhat doomy track with a bit of groove in the chorus. Also a lyric video for Total War. Uh, there's also at least three album trailers available which give you an inside look into the making of the new album, including band interview footage. You can find all of that at the Reaper Entertainment YouTube channel. So definitely really digging the music and lyric video track, so I'll definitely be looking into this one for sure. Also on February 3rd, we'll get the second studio album from American death metal band Sangwa Sugabog. This is Homicidal Ecstasy, to be released by Century Media Records. Vinyl variants will be black as well as transparent blue, both in an unspecified number of copies. Likewise, yellow in an unspecified number, which is an Evil Greed exclusive. We'll also get Coke Bottle vinyl at 1,500 copies, Black Marbled vinyl at 1,500 copies, and Transparent Green vinyl at 300 copies the last of which an EMP and Nuclear Blast exclusive. Music videos for Pissed, Necrosexual Deviant, and Face Ripped Off, the last of which is fairly gory and is overall giving me a bit of a Cannibal Corpse meets Pungent Stench vibe. Anyways, watch the videos at the Century Media YouTube channel. So decent band, though not consistently in my wheelhouse, but I will check out the full release and see how I am with it then. Moving on to February 10th, look out for the 14th studio album from Swedish melodic death metal band In Flames. This is Foregone, to be released by Nuclear Blast Records. Vinyl variants will be black as well as white black marbled vinyl in an unspecified number of copies. Clear vinyl, which is an EMP exclusive. Gold vinyl, which is a Sweden exclusive. White vinyl at 300 copies, which is a Brooklyn vegan exclusive. Sun Yellow at 300 copies, which is an exclusive through Metal Injection, Give Me Metal, and Metal Sucks. Gold Black Marbled at 500 copies. Red Black Marbled at 1,000 copies, which is a band store exclusive. And Crystal Clear with Red Splatter at 1,000 copies, which is a Nuclear Blast exclusive. Each edition comes in a gatefold jacket and with a four-page booklet. There will also be a box set for this title, including a picture disc of the album, but with a 28-page booklet, a digipack CD, a pocket watch, and a sticker. Music videos for the tracks Foregone Part 1 and State of Slow Decay. There is also a lyric video for The Great Deceiver. Of the three fairly competent tracks, I'm likely digging State of Slow Decay the most, so maybe check that one out first. Of course, all of these can be found at the Nuclear Blast YouTube channel. So, I've not been a big fan of most of this band's catalog, but some of this is making me a little curious, and there are some strong nods to early material here, so we'll see how the whole record sounds. I guess. Moving on to February 17th, expect the third studio album from British blackened speed metal band Hellripper. This is Warlocks Grim and Withered Hags, to be released by Peaceville Records. Vinyl variants will be Black and gold. Uh, both versions will also come with a printed inner sleeve, including lyrics. There is a lyric video for the track, The Naklavi. It's a lot of fast shredding riffs along with that familiar Hell Ripper style. Very decent track, so if you're interested, swing on over to the Peaceville Records YouTube channel. And you know what? Check it out. Why not? Generally, I've dug this band for a bit now, and I'm eager to hear the whole album, and maybe we'll even buy it. We'll see. Also on February 17th, we'll get a box set from American hard rock band Motley Crue. This is Crucial Crew, the studio album's 1981 to 1989, to be released by BMG. So I guess if Dokken did it, then why not Motley Crue as well, since they were both on Elektra Records back in the day, and I guess that's basically how BMG acquired the properties. I'm just going to take a shot in the dark on that one there. 
Anyways, vinyl variants will include Too Fast for Love on white and black splatter, Shout at the Devil on yellow and black splatter, Theater of Pain on hot pink magenta and black splatter, Girls, Girls, Girls on cyan blue and black splatter, and Dr. Feelgood on Coke bottle green and oxblood splatter. Each come on 180 gram vinyl with the box set being limited to 7,500 copies. And like the Dokken box set, this too has no extras in it, which is kind of sad actually. So I have most of this on OG vinyl, so I really don't need the box set, but if you're missing these records, this is definitely the best of the best for this band. So definitely check it out if interested. And also on February 17th, look out for the debut full-length album from Peruvian death metal band Spectral Souls. This is Towards Extinction, to be released by Hammerheart Records. Final variants will be black at 400 copies, as well as transparent orange-red-purple splatter at 100 copies. Both variants come in 140 gram weight and with an insert. And there are music videos, one for the track No More God For Me, as well as another for Fuck The World. Uh, from what I'm hearing, they lean more into the death thrash with yelly vocals and melodicism that skitters into classic Sepultura territory at times. Both are good tracks, but No More God For Me is the stronger of the two. But definitely watch both of them at the Spectral Souls YouTube channel. So pretty decent tracks, but we'd need to hear more. Moving on to February 24th, expect the latest EP from Spanish speed thrash band Iron Curtain. This is Metal Gladiator, to be released by Dying Victims Productions. Vinyl variants will be black as well as ultra clear, both of which will come with an insert, a poster, a sticker, a postcard, and a download card. Um, no music videos yet, that I could find at least, but you can check out the track Rattlesnake at their Bandcamp page. I do remember enjoying their Danger Zone album, so I might check into this EP as well when it comes out. Definitely looking into it, for sure. Also on February 24th will be the sixth studio album from American novelty metal band Steel Panther. This is On the Prowl, to be released by Republic Records. Vinyl variants will be black as well as pink marbled and purpled marble. If you buy from SteelPantherRocks.com, incidentally, you can also get it signed if that's of interest. Music videos are out there for Never Too Late to Get Some Pussy Tonight, as well as 1987. Both tracks are pretty rockin', so check them out at the Steel Panther YouTube channel. So, I haven't bought a record from these guys in quite a while, but the two tracks have me curious, so I might pick this one up. We'll see. And also on February 24th, we'll get the second studio album from Swiss epic metal band Megaton Sword. This is Might and Power, to be released by Dying Victims Productions. Vinyl variants will include black as well as gold and a tricolor variant referred to as Oxblood Swamp and Beer. All variants come in a gatefold jacket and with an insert, a poster, a sticker, a postcard, and a download card. But the colored variants will also have a woven patch. Although no music videos have been released as of yet, there are two audio tracks available, one for Might and the other for Power. Of the two, I feel Might is the more compelling track, but you can definitely check out both of them at the Dying Victims Productions YouTube channel. So, definitely interested in what I'm hearing on this one. I'm also looking forward to checking out the full release when it's out. So some of you might have noticed that I'm actually in a different location now. This looks a bit different than it usually does, I'm sure. Over the last so many weeks, I actually moved. I moved apartments, uh, five blocks away from the old one, actually. I'm still in the same town, is what that means. A much bigger place though, including an extra room, which is slowly becoming a dedicated media space. Um, we're in it right now, but this is all I can show you for the time being until it's finished, and I have quite a bit to do. I think I'm about 20% of the way there. So it's gonna be a while before I can actually show you that room. And I probably will do a media room tour when it's finished, so definitely stick around for that. You know, whenever the hell that happens. Anyways, I definitely want to thank all of you for sticking it out through the last so many weeks of inactivity. I haven't posted a video in however many weeks it's been, so absolutely appreciate that you're still with me. As for any metal vinyl releases that are coming up in future months, do drop those in the comments below. Give me the band name, the album name, and the release date. I always appreciate that help if and when I get it, so definitely thanks in advance. 
Of course, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, but also consider sharing it and maybe even subscribing to this channel. Speaking of which, in case you didn't know what channel you were at, uh, this is the Accusation Network. My name is Matt, and each and every week I do videos on metal vinyl collecting. I also cover the subjects of classic and modern metal bands in general. That sounds like something you're interested in. Definitely check out all my playlists. I have a number of shows in and around those subjects. And of course, as always, thank you for watching, and check back next month for even more metal vinyl releases.